Hello and welcome to Midi Up, the channel where I provide you with an update of the three best Middle East headlines of the day. Let's get right to it. The Washington Times has an opinion piece about the gathering Iranian threat in Syria, asserting that Iran has been filling a void created by the Syrian civil war and is setting up land, naval, and air bases, creating a sphere of influence stretching from Tehran to Damascus and passing through Baghdad that will facilitate the movement of troops and weapons from Iran to Syria. The article notes that Israel cannot tolerate such a land corridor stretching all the way to the border of the Golan Heights. In the second article, Al Jazeera asks whether Israel and Hezbollah are headed for a second war, noting that Hezbollah has been building up Iranian arms in South Lebanon and has also been cooperating with Russia as they are fighting on the same side of the Syrian civil war. In the same article, it is noted that Israel has just conducted one of their largest military drills ever on the southern border of Lebanon. Also, Israel has been cooperating with an alliance of moderate Arab states, including Saudi Arabia and Egypt and some of their Gulf allies. In the third article, the Middle East Monitor reports that a Saudi prince has visited Israel in secret, noting that the prince was a member of the royal court and that the Israeli prime minister has now stated that relationships with Saudi Arabia are unprecedented, that there is now cooperation at various levels and in different ways that's just not visible above the surface and that the world is changing in dramatic ways. Of course, links to all three of these articles will be provided in the description box below. Please remember to like and subscribe to provide me with motivation to make additional content.